Hey there, thank you for watching. I just wanted to record a quick video uh, just talking about the concept of breaking things down. Um, you know, I have a lot of goal this, goals this year, things I want to learn. And if you're like me, there's a lot of creative interests that you have. And it can be overwhelming, you know. If you want to tackle music or art, where do you even begin? How do you start learning? And I just want to talk a little bit about my approach and... Um, Hopefully this can help you. The first thing to remember is everything is figure outable. Anyone that you admire, any master at any subject was once a beginner. They're human, just like you. A uh, special note to maybe some slightly older people. Um, you know, I turned 30 this year and sometimes it, I can feel a little overwhelmed. But if you look up people who were successful late in life, you'd be astounded at the people. Uh, Stan Lee, he didn't write his first hit comic until he was 38. Vera Wang, she was a figure skater before she became a fashion designer. And I think she didn't start becoming a fashion designer until she was 40. Julia Child, she didn't start cooking until she was 50. So it's never too late. Um, and even if you're older than that, uh, there is a famous painter back in the day. Uh, she went by Grandma Moses. Um, I wasn't familiar with her paintings, but one of them, when I was looking her up, recently sold for $1.2 million. And she didn't start painting until she was 78. So you definitely have time to pick up any skill that you want to learn. Now, there are two ways to learn things. And the way that we learn in school, uh, at least stereotypically, is just repetition, repetition, repetition. You... When you're learning English, you go through all the grammar rules. So when you're learning math, you go through multiplication tables. And then when you're learning piano, you go through all the scales. You learn the different chords and how they're made. And that, there's value in that. But I think there's a better way, especially for a beginner. What you need to do is take whatever subject that you're interested in and break it down into bite-sized chunks that you can tackle one at a time. An easy example is if you're into story writing, novel writing, or short stories, what is a story? All it is is people, places, and those people doing things. You can concentrate on the plot, you know, with the actions of your characters without fully developing the character. You can develop a character and not have them actually doing anything. You're just thinking about who the character is. Uh, you can start world building before you put any characters or music, you know. Really, music is just organized sound. So if you take a beat, and you just have a noise repeating, and then you take that noise and you change repetition, and you, you find something new there. And then you can enter in pitch. As you change the pitch up and down, you start having melody. If you add multiple pitches at the same time, then you have harmony. And you can take all of those and just put them together in infinite ways. And yeah, you have other things like the timbre of different instruments and how those blend together and what those can communicate but you just you add all that together and you have music you know visual art is just you know you can start off with a line and you put multiple lines together and you have simple shapes you add just basic perspective knowledge and you start to build a three-dimensional world you learn the basics of how lighting works and you can tweak the value and then you have a, the beginnings of a good looking drawing you know you're already starting to communicate visually and then you add color into the mix and you can learn the basics of color theory you know there's different elements like you know the texture which all that is is subtle variations in in the value or color or something and and you can start going really far with just a few easy to understand simple concepts you know, whether it's story writing or music or visual art or whatever it is you want to learn, if you can understand the basic principles, then you just start playing with how those basics interweave with each other. And that's where art lies. Now, I'm not trying to downplay how complex or hard it is. It, it's not easy, um, but it is manageable and you can do it. You know, there's lots of people, lots of thought leaders out there on every subject imaginable. Just Google around the fundamentals of whatever it is that you're studying. And 
that will be your starting point. Just tackle things one at a time and you can do this. So I hope you found this helpful. Uh, if you like the video, please like it and uh, feel free to subscribe. I'm going to try to do a video like this about once a week and I'm going to change it up and see, see what I enjoy, see what sticks with you guys. Um, thanks again for watching.